Um, so I named this one, I'm Never Dating a Poet Ever Again. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> and you'll see why. <clears throat> a woman that writes cannot be disarmed. She cannot be confined, she cannot be diffused. Her thoughts are a tempest blade, fierce and unrelenting. A woman who writes unveils her coveted ache for revenge through the scratches of a granite pencil until it runs blunt. Pages that exude extreme friction and heat because a woman who writes wastes no time. Burning through her pages, fumigating her mind from the vexation and contempt that she carries, she is reserved, yet spiteful in her own solitude. But at best, you can say she was cool about it. Because a woman who writes is never loud. She is intact and she is composed. She simply crosses her legs, reminisces in a debonair fashion, twirling her pencil through her hair in a very sultry manner, occasionally leaving bite marks and lipstick stains on its rubber end. And whilst she has your attention, she then promptly stabs herself in the neck. But a woman who writes never bleeds too much. She seals her wound and begins to clean up after herself because God forbid she is deemed as impolite. Pencil marks behind self-help books, one titled, How to Be the Chill Girl. Her words seeping and bleeding through the pages as a writer is at, oh, <laughs> words seeping and bleeding through the pages because a writer is only sincere when the pen is held firm in between their fingers. When the pigment runs dry, so does their well-kept-up charade. A woman who writes is consumed by the pain that she turns into passion and inspiration, choking on her own nostalgia, inviting pain to contaminate her roots like it is some missing piece inside a museum that she showcases her losses proudly dusting off each historical artifact that once destroyed her, pouring venom inside open seams that she once held together with sticky tape. To feel so powerfully and to find coexistence in between the fine lines of hatred and adoration is a strength that she holds inside her tightened grasp. To love a woman who writes is to know that you're bound to become her muse as she draws inspiration from the core of your existence and turns you into a symbolic metaphor, a personified hyperbole, a pathetic fallacy, stripping you of your simplicity and making you into something worth reading about, something poetic. <laughs>